Welcome to your guide to administering epistatus to 10 to less than 18-year-old patients with prolonged acute convulsive seizures. If you will be caring for a patient with epilepsy or believe that you may be required to administer epistatus in the future, you should familiarise yourself with their individual care plan. Epilepsy affects approximately 40,000 adolescents aged 10 to less than 18 years in the UK. Seizures can happen at any time. When a seizure starts, note the time or start a stopwatch. When a seizure starts, Remove or loosen items such as scarves, glasses and ties, anything which is likely to cause harm during the seizure. Also, remove anything surrounding the patient which could harm them, such as hard-edged furniture or other objects. Only move the patient if they're in a dangerous situation, such as by a road, near open water or hot cooking appliances. Remove the syringe from its outer case. Unscrew the amber sheath cap and dispose of it responsibly. If the patient is not already on the floor, you do not need to place them there. Gently turn their head to one side. To administer the medication, ensure the patient's head is supported and locate the buccal cavity, which is the space between the inside of the cheek and teeth and gums by holding the cheek outwards and upwards, firmly but gentle. Insert the syringe into the patient's available buccal cavity. Do not put the syringe between the teeth. Push the plunger slowly and drip into the mouth. Approximately half the dose should be placed into each buccal cavity. If access to a cheek is restricted, administer the full dose into the available buccal cavity. Wait for five minutes or for how long it is instructed in the care plan for the epistatus to work and the seizure to become less active. The seizure should end within five minutes of administering epistatus. Patient recovery times can vary. Some recover quickly. Others may remain drowsy for some time. If the seizure persists beyond five minutes or you are concerned, call an ambulance immediately. If the patient is on the floor when the seizure stops, put them into the recovery position. Once the patient has recovered, keep a note of when the medication was given and record the duration of the seizure.